what's up guys, Demented Monkey here, and today I want to talk about the game modes I think will be in Battlefield 1. So let's get right into it. So the first game mode that is pretty clear to us is Conquest, which is basically the Battlefield standard game mode. Which I think will be pretty cool with the Trenches map. Next, I think they'll definitely going to add some form of Rush, which again will be amazing in the Trenches as instead of the high tech MCOMs, I reckon we will have some sort of explosive like uh, dynamite with uh, a, a weapons cache or ammo cache or something like that. But that is just two game modes that, I, that will be pretty much confirmed as they're the Battlefield standard maps. Now I want to talk about two game modes that I think uh, should be in included or may possibly be included just by analyzing the trailer. I haven't actually seen anybody talk about this by the way uh, on YouTube before so if you have then okay but yeah. So first off I think it will be a form of air superiority. Uh, this will be a really cool game mode to see in World War 1 with the biplanes and the triplanes and things like that. Especially with the Red Barons pack and things like that. But yeah, air superiority. Uh, this game mode, you know, it, they did have planes. But you're probably wondering, well, air superiority, that's basically conquest in planes. What would they capture? Well, in World War One, they actually had observation blimps. There, would, uh, there were small blimps that they'd hover above the trenches to see where the enemy kind of is and things like that. Honestly, I don't know too much about it, but I do know that they did have observation blimps in World War One. This gives the p potential to not only have air superiority in World War One, but to combine both conquest and air superiority uh, into one, where the planes will be dogfighting each other whilst capturing the objectives in the sky, and the infantry on the ground will be capturing the ground objectives. And I think a game mode like this would be really immersive and quite a fun game mode overall. With all the planes sometimes coming down to attack the ground units, and then sometimes the ground units taking out the planes. Obviously not with lock-on missiles or anything, but uh, I think if they include what they had in Battlefield Hardline, which I know, I know Battlefield Hardline, it's, it's pretty shit, but if they include the fact that uh, normal weapons can like damage light armoured, vehicles and things like that, I reckon that would be a pretty cool feature considering World War 1, if you snipe with like a general bullet, a plane or something like that, or you hit it, you, you know, you're gonna do s at least some form of damage because they weren't heavily armoured, obviously a tank will have, obviously have anti-tank missiles or things, but obviously they won't be as uh, processed or as uh, good as what we have today. But still, you'd have some form of anti-tank rifle as we saw in the trailer and things like that. But yeah, you know, taking out the aeroplanes that are trying to swoop down and kill your infantry, you can have a support guy, you know, shoot it, shoot it with his LMG or something like that, or Lewis machine gun and things like that. So that could be quite an immersive game mode and quite a fun game mode. Uh, the next game mode and the last game mode which I reckon will be pretty cool, would be like Chainlink from Battlefield 4. Now, Chainlink wasn't the best of game modes. I had, like, when it first came out, there was a couple of people playing it, blah, 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 blah. It wasn't, you know, everybody stopped after it came out because, you know, Conquest is better and Chainlink, it was, it was okay, but nobody really plays it. It's not really that fun. I mean, you literally have to... It's Conquest, just a little bit smaller. Um, but I reckon... Chain link in a way with World War One could work, especially with the trenches maps. Now, I think that if you got a trenches map, and every time you captured an objective, a new part of the trench was built, I reckon that'd be quite an immersive game mode, where uh, teams would have to work as a team, you know, not just running off because obviously are most of Call of Duty players who don't work as teams, obviously in Call of Duty is not really team orientated, whereas Battlefield is, um, no offence to anybody who, you know, loves Call of Duty out there, but seriously, uh, I think that Battlefield does have more of a team based uh, orientation to it, and well, if the, uh, the teams aren't like working together, then this could seriously go uh, in the favour of the enemy team, 
and they could capture a bunch of their objectives and then have their full trench and whereas yours is just still on you know your first trench because you're going over up and over and just trying to get kills and getting sprayed down by a Lewis machine gun that's probably mounted or something so yeah I really think chain link would be a good kind of game mode to combine with t trenches where every time you capture a trench then you can push it forward or instead of and like I reckon with all of the new software and stuff like that they could have uh, some AI that obviously you can't kill but AI that is just there for looks uh, kind of dig in the trenches and obviously they're not there if you're not capturing if that makes sense although it would be kind of weird if they just disappeared so I kind of you know I kind of don't get that and I don't kind of get if the trenches just randomly appeared but you know I whatever maybe somebody in the group of or in your squad could have like a designated shovel man and he's digging and can be killed by the enemy team or something like that but yeah that's just my opinion anyway guys that's probably going to be it for today's video happy saturday i've been demented monkey guys i hope you've enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one see ya bananas go go bananas